Hi, I've been down here the last couple of days with April at the Knox studio down here in London. We've been doing some filming and bits and pieces like that. So we actually thought it's a good opportunity to show you around a little bit what we've got going on here and uh, give you a quick tour of the studio. So April takes away. All right. down here we're doing a lot of design so this is mainly where we kind of we do a lot of design down here we have a lot of meetings here supplier meetings knocking up samples getting you know getting lots of different fabric samples in all that kind of stuff we're doing you know um, lots of CADs like illustrator stuff down here getting everything ready for production all the way through to lots of pattern cutting we have a pattern cutting system down here which then we send all the patterns up to the factory and then they all get printed out and all that kind of stuff Fantastic. So um, show us the different areas. So I do a lot of my CADs and stuff on here. So like I generally start my desk here. I'll be doing lots of designing, do a lot of mood boards, all that kind of stuff. Put it onto computer, um, obviously all the day-to-day -day emails, all that kind of stuff. Um, we've got tons of samples everywhere, constantly having to clear out. There seems to never be enough space for samples. Um, so it's pretty packed. So then if you kind of come around this area, this is essentially my messy area. It's where I'm allowed to like make a mess, essentially. It's kind of tucked away behind some shelves. So I have like pattern cutting stuff. You see some mood boards up here, some of which are covered up. <laughs> As we're trialing something new, like I'll often make like small samples and stuff to check how it's working or check that it works before we actually try and put it in a garment. Yeah. Um, so I have a little machine up over here um, where we kind of do all that. Um, and over this way, you kind of see that we have... So you're actually, you, you're actually sewing yeah. um, some of the garments up here just as prototypes, right? Uh, constantly. So I generally start with like, you know, it depends what area I'm trialing. So maybe I'll start with like small areas to see that I can get something to work. Okay. Then have a pattern, get it all printed out, cut it out here and check the initial fit here before we send it back to the, the factory and get the machinist to make it up. I kind of want their time to be, you know, well used. I don't want them to be making something that, you know, I know that isn't completely right. Um, sure. So do that here and then once it's right, then we send it back there and then they can make a proper sample. Okay. Over here got absolutely bloody tons of fabric, whole wall full. Supplier fabric, trim information, some books, you know, all different kinds of things. And then over in this area, we kind of have a little showroom area i've got lots of fabrics and stuff that i try to order in terms of like strength and and stuff like that that gives us lots of stuff to play with and a little little meeting area here as well so we can you know kind of bump that up get a few chairs around it um and then over on this machine here we have um so this is where we're doing all the pattern design so this is where i'm doing pattern design yeah so okay um pattern making so now instead of doing all the manual pattern cutting and stuff that I was doing over there and then sending stuff back and all that kind of stuff. We're now able to do it um, on, on here. So, you know, start from scratch and kind of input it all into a system. I can do all my grading on here, all this kind of stuff, check that my sizes are right. Then, you know, if I need to add in another size, it's much easier. Any amendments, like it's much easier to do that. I can send that pattern back with all of its grades and everything, send that back to the factory. Mm -hmm. Um, we also have this cool 3D design as well. So this is our men's shield jumper so that I can put it on a 3D model and get, you know, it's not, it's not exactly lifelike, but it, it's, it's pretty good. Like I can see how it's going to piece together and it means that I'm able to iron out any, you know, potential issues before I've even made it. If I can, you know, get a basic shape together. Sure. Um, you can see kind of where it's fitting like here so if it's really red in an area like say if it was really tight here it'd be bright red or something but now it seems to be you know it's, it's quite a nice loose fit which is kind of what i'm going for with this okay. one um great and that this this all just helps with the development process doesn't it yeah totally totally so that's it really that is the studio obviously down here we're you know always having visitors um you know whether that's suppliers or customers or we're, quite often do film work and things from down here um, and obviously being in London it's just a very easy location for you know lots of people to get to where uh, you know in the thick of it 
you know, fairly central East London as well. Um, and yeah, it's, it's great. It's a great building to work in. You know, we've got like a really nice outdoors, got a good cafe, got meeting rooms, everything. So it's a really good place to work. Mm. Well, thanks for uh, sharing us around. You're very welcome.